You guys can see the screen, right? Yes. Sweet. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna agree with with Jen uh, on this. I strongly prefer keeping my students like on Canvas or within the Canvas shell, just because the more moving parts you have, I feel like the greater the risk of something going wrong. Um, so as much as possible, I try to keep things on Canvas. Um, just a quick bit of background. Last semester, I started running into a bit of a, a wall with Canvas, particularly when it came to giving um, giving feedback um, or having students give feedback to each other for their work. Um, and so when we were still meeting uh, in person on campus, I would go in and check in on every student and see how they were doing with their rough drafts and their papers. Um, that wasn't really feasible um, given the circumstances. So I originally had students go to the discussion boards to post their rough drafts and then give each other feedback. But um, what I, I ended up seeing was that the, the feedback itself um, wasn't, uh, let me rephrase, it wasn't set up in a way, the Canvas um, layout wasn't set up in a way to uh, lead to really effective feedback. Because if you use discussion boards, which is what I used, um, you have students who like will attach a, a copy of their rough draft and then other students have to like download the copy, open it up. There could be like corrupted files or something like that. Um, there could be like programmatic issues like some students don't have Microsoft Word, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or like you would have students who would copy and paste their rough draft into the discussion board, but then you can't really address like little things like maybe typos or syntactical errors because it's like, well, you have three paragraphs. What are you going to say? Oh, in line two of paragraph three, you have a typo. It could be tricky. So um, I started experimenting a little bit with Google Slides. I know Jason does this for his classes as well. So shout out to Jason for the, the inspiration. If he wants to chime in, he's welcome to do so. So I'm just going to give you a quick example here. I have an assignment um, that one of the students have to do. So made this on Canva, Pega. I'm still a fan of Canva. I'd recommend doing that. Um, and so what I have here is just kind of like a, a quick overview of the assignment. And then um, what I would usually do is I would like include a, a Google Slides link here, um, or you can make it its own separate link on the modules page. But what it would look like essentially is really just a, a straightforward, simple Google Slide. And the reason why I'm opting for this rather than the discussion board is that you can comment on pretty much any part of the text that's posted to the Google slide. So um, for this assignment, students had to um, use a quotation sandwich model, which um, is basically like an English professor's um, dream of incorporating uh, quotes effectively into a text. And for example, you would have students um, copy and paste their quotation sandwich to a slide. So each student would get their own slide. Um, so here we have a student named Alex, they would copy and paste their quotation sandwich. And then the, the really cool thing about Google Slides is anyone can like highlight whatever they want to comment on and then just leave a comment directly on that portion. So um, if this were to be posted on a discussion board, um, you can have feedback that like gives you a general overview of what the student can do to improve the piece of writing, but it really helps to have this level of detail where you can actually like highlight the sections you're referring to and then give feedback that way. Um, so for example, um, I could leave feedback here like, um, who is Bob? Give his full name, talking about Bob Ross best painter out there, rest in peace. Um, so give his full name. Um, what are his qualifications? So I could leave that comment for the students. So when they go back to review this slide or they go back to review the rough draft, they'll see, okay, Professor Kishkaki wrote this, this comment here. And then other classmates would of course chime in. So somebody else could read this um, and they could leave another comment here. And then they'll say, use his last name instead of his first name. There you go. Um, and so on and so forth. So this way you're going to get a more interactive, um, I would say a more interactive uh, level of feedback here, um, rather than having students just kind of read several paragraphs as a whole and just leave a few end comments. Um, you're really kind of pushing students to uh, pay attention to the details and also provide feedback that is more specific. 
rather than kind of the generic, hey, you did a great job, keep it up. I liked when you said this, like, that's not really going to help anyone. Um, and then the other benefit to having it on Google Slides is it's really easy to kind of um, go through the different, um, the different submissions because you'll see like on the left hand side, all of the slides are just clearly available. So if I wanted to jump to another student's uh, draft, I can just click on one of the slides here on the side. Um, whereas on the discussion board, you have to scroll through a bunch of posts and replies um, and other comments to get to the next one. Um, so this is something that I think uh, is, is a nice workaround to some of the limitations of the discussion board. Um, I know even like there's a way on Canvas to have students work in groups where like you might put five students in a group and they just look at each other's rough drafts, um, which is great assuming all of the students submit their rough drafts. Um, if you're in a group and three of the other members don't submit anything, you're kind of out of luck, right? Um, so there's, there's some caveats with, with the way um, feedback is, is provided on Canvas, um, at least in a, in a uh, peer review format. So this is something that um, I definitely recommend. Um, and plus it's a lot easier to open, I think, for a lot of people, because if you just have Google Docs or Google Drive like on your phone, it's super quick and easy to access that. Whereas through Canvas, you have to like log on, click the shell, click the discussion board, find the discussion board, then scroll through posts. So this is something that um, I found to be very useful. Again, Jason, who is here, I believe, um, also does something like this. So um, yeah, I think it's it's worked well for the both of us. Um, and I would definitely encourage experimenting with that.